The Ark of the Covenant, a golden chest described in the Book of Exodus, stands as one of history's most enduring enigmas. More than just a container, it represented the presence of God among the Israelites, a tangible link between the divine and earthly realms. Its construction, meticulously detailed in biblical texts, involved acacia wood overlaid with pure gold, topped by two cherubim with outstretched wings. This sacred vessel held the stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments, the very foundation of the Israelite covenant with God. The Ark's importance extended beyond its physical form. It symbolized the Israelites' unique relationship with God, a chosen people entrusted with the divine law. It was carried at the head of the Israelite army, a symbol of divine protection and guidance. The Ark's presence signified a sacred space, a place where God could communicate with his people. Its story, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, continues to captivate and inspire, a testament to the enduring human quest for meaning and understanding. The Ark's disappearance from historical records has fueled countless legends and theories. Some believe it was hidden before the destruction of the First Temple in Jerusalem in 587 BCE. Others suggest it was taken to Ethiopia by Menelik I, the son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Still others believe it was miraculously transported to heaven. Tales of its power to level mountains, part rivers, and inflict divine wrath abound. These stories have inspired countless expeditions and treasure hunts, each seeking to uncover the truth behind the Ark's disappearance. One persistent legend places the Ark in a hidden chamber beneath the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Despite the abundance of theories and legends, the Ark's location remains a mystery. The quest to find the Ark continues, driven by a desire to uncover the truth behind this ancient enigma and its enduring legacy. The search for the Ark of the Covenant has entered a new era, utilizing cutting-edge technology and scientific methods. Ground-penetrating radar allows researchers to scan beneath the Earth's surface, identifying potential cavities and anomalies that could indicate buried structures. Remote sensing technologies, such as satellite imagery and aerial photography, provide a broader perspective, allowing researchers to identify patterns and features that might be missed on the ground. Chemical analysis of soil samples can reveal traces of ancient materials, providing clues about past activities and the presence of specific artifacts. For instance, the detection of elevated levels of gold or acacia wood could suggest the proximity of the Ark. Advancements in DNA analysis allow researchers to trace the origins and movements of ancient populations, potentially shedding light on the Ark's journey through history. After years of painstaking research and exploration, a team of archaeologists and scientists believe they have finally pinpointed the Ark's location. Converging lines of evidence, from ancient texts and local traditions to geophysical surveys and ground-penetrating radar data, point to a remote and previously unexplored site in the Ethiopian highlands. The location aligns with the legend of Menelik I bringing the Ark to Aksum. The site, shrouded in local folklore and considered sacred by the local community, has remained undisturbed for centuries. The team's initial surveys have revealed promising anomalies, suggesting the presence of a subterranean chamber. They have consulted with local elders and religious leaders, respecting the site's cultural and spiritual significance. The anticipation surrounding the potential discovery is palpable. If the Ark is indeed found at this site, it would be one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in history. A moment of revelation. The opening of the Ark. The moment of truth arrived. After weeks of careful excavation, the team reached the entrance to the subterranean chamber. The air was thick with anticipation as they prepared to breach the sealed entrance. Using specialized tools and techniques, the team carefully removed the final layer of rock and debris, revealing a stone doorway sealed for centuries. The silence was broken only by the gentle scraping of tools against stone. With a final push, the heavy stone door swung inward, revealing a dimly lit chamber. Dust motes danced in the beams of the archaeologists' headlamps, illuminating the interior for the first time in centuries. In the center, resting on a simple stone pedestal, sat a golden chest, the unmistakable form of the Ark of the Covenant. Ancient secrets revealed the contents of the Ark. The team approached the Ark with reverence and caution, aware of the profound significance of their discovery. 
they carefully opened the chest, revealing its long hidden contents. Inside, nestled among layers of protective linen, lay the two stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments, their inscriptions still clearly visible. In addition to the tablets, the Ark contained a golden pot of manna, the miraculous food that sustained the Israelites during their wanderings in the desert. A staff belonging to Aaron, Moses' brother, also lay within the chest, a symbol of his priestly authority. These artifacts provided tangible links to the biblical narrative. The team meticulously documented each item, photographing and carefully preserving them for further study. The discovery of these artifacts validated the biblical accounts and provided invaluable insights into the religious practices of the ancient Israelites. Deciphering the Past Understanding the Ark's Significance The discovery of the Ark of the Covenant set off a wave of excitement and scholarly inquiry. Historians, theologians, and scientists from around the world converged to study the artifact and its contents, eager to unlock its secrets and understand its profound significance. Linguists and epigraphers meticulously examined the inscriptions on the stone tablets, comparing them to existing versions of the Ten Commandments. They sought to understand the nuances of the ancient Hebrew script and any variations that might shed light on the evolution of religious thought. Archaeologists analyzed the construction of the Ark itself, comparing it to the detailed descriptions in the Book of Exodus. They studied the materials used, the craftsmanship, and the symbolic imagery, seeking to understand the Ark's construction in its historical and cultural context. Scientists conducted radiocarbon dating and other scientific analyses to determine the age of the artifacts and verify their authenticity. The results confirmed that the artifacts dated back to the time of the Exodus, providing compelling evidence to support the biblical narrative. The Power of Belief, the Ark and Religious Faith The rediscovery of the Ark of the Covenant had a profound impact on religious communities around the world. For many, it was a validation of their faith, a tangible link to the stories and traditions that had shaped their beliefs for generations. The Ark's reappearance sparked renewed interest in scripture and religious practice. The Ark's rediscovery also ignited a global conversation about the relationship between faith and reason. While some saw it as a divine miracle, others sought scientific explanations for its preservation and discovery. The Ark became a focal point for discussions about the nature of belief and the role of evidence in shaping our understanding of the world. Representatives from different religious traditions gathered to discuss the Ark's significance and its shared meaning for people of faith. The Ark became a symbol of unity and common ground, bridging the divides between different belief systems. A Bridge Between Eris The Ark's Impact on History and Science The discovery of the Ark of the Covenant had far-reaching implications for our understanding of history and science. It provided invaluable insights into the ancient world, shedding light on the lives, beliefs, and practices of the Israelites and their neighbors. The Ark's rediscovery challenged existing historical narratives and prompted a reassessment of our understanding of ancient civilizations. The scientific methods used to locate and analyze the Ark pushed the boundaries of archaeological and scientific inquiry. The discovery spurred the development of new technologies and techniques, advancing our ability to uncover and understand the past. The Ark's rediscovery fostered collaboration between scientists, historians, and theologians, bridging the gap between different disciplines. It demonstrated the value of interdisciplinary research in unraveling complex historical mysteries. The Ark became a symbol of intellectual collaboration and the pursuit of knowledge. The Enduring Mystery Unanswered Questions and Future Explorations Despite the groundbreaking discovery of the Ark of the Covenant, many questions remain unanswered. The exact circumstances surrounding its disappearance from Jerusalem and its journey to Ethiopia are still shrouded in mystery. Further research and investigation are needed to fully reconstruct the Ark's journey through time. Archaeologists are now investigating other sites mentioned in biblical texts, hoping to uncover further evidence that can shed light on the ancient world. Scientists are continuing to analyze the artifacts found within the Ark, using advanced techniques to extract even more information about their composition, origin, and significance. The discovery of the Ark of the Covenant has reminded us that history is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The Ark's legacy continues to unfold, promising further discoveries and revelations in the years to come.